Now let's go over to our man, T Mr. Teddy Kegstad, as we do each and every Wednesday. Wednesday. It, Wednesday. It, it is Wednesday. Thing. That's I right. 40 past the hour. And every trading day, folks, you can reach Teddy at forex-trading-unlock.com. That's forex-trading-unlock.com. Teddy Kegstad, what's going on, brother? Oh, I'm just uh, trying to absorb what's going on with the currency markets with this holiday week that we're uh, that we have. That's no doubt, man. You know, we, we saw that dollar, that dollar spiked higher last week, gave it up, and uh, it's not done yet. It looks like it wants to go after that 98085 again. It's like, oh my God, like, you know, right. when are you going to give it up, man? Right. Well, I think the interesting ones to watch right now is the U.S. dollar yen and the euro U.S. dollar. Okay. Right now, those are the ones that seem to be definitely very bearish and looking to make newer move lows. Uh, the U.S. dollar yen trade, like I have to say, like I was looking at the charts on the weekly and the monthly and especially the daily. Momentum looks like it's uh, it's just weak. Like the U.S. dollar really seems to be very strong against the yen. Or, excuse me, weak against the yen. Okay. I think that's going to um, remain so probably over the next week or so. And I like the euro yen. I think that's our excuse me, the euro U.S. dollar. I think is going to probably test the lows again this week. So there's just uh, the dollar is in those two markets. That's where it's it's active and moving. I would look at the the pound dollar. I think right now, especially with you have the Theresa May leaving uh, the uh, U.K. Is the, that's that's a whole new variable there. Um, but I think her replacement is going to be just more of the same. You know, so I think you're going to have kind of a, a just a, a static trade until yeah. it's kind of it's, uh, put into place with the new uh, change in leadership. You know, so and uh, outside of that, the dollar strength seems to just kind of it keeps trying to edge further and further right now against all the lesser majors. No, there's no doubt, man. It's pretty, it's pretty wild just watching the whole thing shake out. I mean, Britain, they're, they're like in a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the last like three years, right? Seriously, I mean, yeah. man. I mean, it's like, you know, you get plenty of folks over there that they seem that, okay, we, we don't want any deal and we don't think anything's going to happen to the currency, which would be pretty hard to comprehend, you know, if you don't get a deal and they really do a hard Brexit. Uh, I guess we'll just count down again to, uh, you know, the... We well, we'll see the next couple of weeks or we'll see how they phase in the new leadership and how... now. I honestly think it's just more of the same as far as the, what the, 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 the banter is going to be. Yes. Um, I don't think that it's, I don't think that her stepping down is a sign that there's going to be a resolution any faster, to be quite honest with you. Oh, no, I, I really, agree. Because I, I think that, listen, good. You know, people always can say no real easy. Well, okay, tell me what you're going to do then. Right. And that's, that's what we had. No, no, no. Okay, good. Now it's in the ball. You know, be careful right. what you want, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah. So. Sure. Exactly. So you guys know that, they, I mean, this is nothing new here that we're looking at with them, you know. So I would I would definitely say that anyone that's trading it, just be very careful with the, the moves. You're probably going to get some vacuum moves. Um, now, any obviously, any type of agreements or good coming to terms at the table between the EU and the UK will probably see a little rally yes. in the pound dollar trade. Um, but I don't think that our trade things with China has any impact on that unless there's a major obviously moving the dollar, that would be indicative of making the pound have a reaction to it. But I think you're really going to see the pound just really drift over the next like few weeks as as they absorb the new leadership and try and come to the table again. And we'll see with the with the G20 meeting coming up as well. There may be some pressures with this saying, hey, you guys, we, we need we have a lot of other things on the table here. It's time to start to come to the, you know, make some kind of resolution. Right. And then, of course, we have Europe going on vacation, right? I mean, that starts kind of, yes. you know, whether it's now, the next few weeks and like kind of six weeks, they kind of lay low, right? Sure, yeah. sure. Now, now, the one thing we've been talking a lot about is the, the dollar Swiss relationship. Yep. Last week they did after we talked on Thursday and Friday, they did start. They made a newer move low. Um, they're a little bit about dollars bounced back a little bit over the past couple sessions, but it's just a corrective move right now the way I see it. So that signal is that with the politics aside between what's going on with the UK and the EU, I think that there's definitely going to see some weakness in the dollar against these major currencies because of the way the Swiss is reacting, you know, um, and I think this is the precursor. But it's probably more setting a range trade, not like a big change in trend. Does that make any sense? Yeah, no, it does. I can I can see that. The uh, 
it, it seems that, I mean, the dollar has been creeping against everything for a while, but it's only been creeping too, right? I mean, it, it right. seems like this consolidation is still in place. Sure. Um, sure. We'll see how the rest And the rally in the, in the dollar Canada trade is something to look at too, because you have the Bank of Canada where if they have any change in monetary policy when they meet, um, which I'm not sure exactly when it is, I think it's next week. So if there's any t uh, change in their monetary policy speak, then you may see some reaction in the dollar Canada, but otherwise, that bull is kind of like looking for newer move highs. So that's definitely strong. You gotta love it. Listen, folks, every trading day, you can catch I'm in Teddy at forex-trading-unlock.com. That's forex-trading-unlock.com. And guess what? These currencies, the markets are moving, but currencies are definitely moving too, man. I mean, it's going to be interesting watching this thing shake out, uh, particularly the yen, because it's, you know, I like it when the, when the yen gets stronger. For some reason, that gold market gets stronger, you know, so the, the correlation is just direct as you can get, which is pretty cool. It's not going to stay still. The yen, I think the yen actually might be one of the big movers over the next couple months. Good. Get it stronger, will you, man? Go, go <laughs> buy some of it. <laughs> we'll work on that for you. Man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, listen, you have a great week, safe week, and we look forward to speaking to you next Wednesday, Teddy. Thanks, guys. Thanks, you have a good one, too. Appreciate it. Thanks, Teddy. It. Have a great one. Have a safe one.